I figured out the gear. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. I was just having a look because I realised when I was editing, when I hovered over this, there was a change appearance thing. It doesn't seem to do it. Oh, I haven't got this on at the moment. Um, I don't know if it's... Oh, so that's how I change appearance with these. And that's the dark arts one. <gasps> I actually really like that. I'm going to wear that. <laughs> For sure. I'm not evil, I swear. Um, what about this one? I've got two things now. So we've got... Oh, that's cool. I'm wearing a dress. Not sure it goes in my cloak, though. And that's the dark arts ensemble. Oh, I do like that. Not gonna lie. That looks fancy. Nah. This one. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my dark arts outfit. So I took off my hat, but let me just put this back on to see what the... I don't actually know if I could have done the change appearance inside. Did I get another hat? Is that a dark arts hat? I really kind of like it. There you go. I'm dark artsy. How do I change my wand appearance? Is that in gear? Oh, I haven't unlocked it yet. Progress the domain story to unlock. Okay. Well. Alright. Hopefully everything is working fine today. I had some more issues when I turned it on. Um, where instead of everything being all jumpy, the like volume on the game footage was really slow, so everyone sounded all bassy, and I don't know why. I don't know what it was doing, so it took a few reboots and things to actually get that sorted. And I think it's okay now. Um, so, yes. Um, I've got a couple of side quests I'm tempted to go and pick up. There's one over here in this black flag somewhere. Uh, this. Flying off the shelves, which I was tempted to get. But I'm going to go see the professor first, and then we'll go and get distracted and explore a bit. Um. Oh, I thought I saw something shiny. I didn't. Um, yeah, I haven't sat to work out those doorway things yet. Oh. Uh, it's almost a bit dark having that... Um, Impaled on a stick when it's apparently alive. Is that a mirror? <gasps> Ooh, sorry. Distracted. Lumos. Jeez. Uh, I mean, it looks like one of the tapestries. But I don't know if I've seen one with a centaur. Ooh, why is it all gassy in here? Somebody set this off, or is this? I keep things clean as a whistle, but it's oh, what's that vile stench? Oh, what is that portrait doing? Oh, the humiliation! Even third Dan Octavius Pratt gets hung from it. These guys all left theirs. Stink! I should demand a rehanging. I like that these guys have just left there. Oh, there was a thing there. Not the thing I was looking for, but it'll do. Pungent passage. Oh, it's actually just like this in here. This passage is relatively nondescript as far as passages go. However, the mishandling of a crop of mim... Mimbulus? Mimbletonia. Not sure if that's right. In the 16th century and the accompanying tsunami of stink sap left it with a rancid odour that even the strongest scaring charm cannot seem to eradicate. Rather it's been there a while then. Ooh, look how close well, I am to the next thing. It's not Okay. Me. Um, let's just have a quick peek and see if I can spot. I did also notice before, oh, he's got to be in here, look, that you can actually see uh, the butterfly moth things. Do you think anyone has found every secret passage in Hogwarts? Um, Wouldn't sometimes. Wouldn't surprise me if new ones popped up occasionally. Is that it? I'm just wondering if it's sitting somewhere that I can actually see and be like, see, you can see it. But it's probably somewhere I'm just not going to notice. Oh, it's on that one, look. Yeah, so you can actually see them there. Um, which I didn't notice when I was running around on the other one. But I noticed when I was editing it. <laughs> you notice a lot more little details when you're not playing something and trying to do commentary and pay attention to things. Um, Only if you step on the wrong tile, there's a... Oh get in the picture. That should make me level five. Yay! 
plus 20 HP. How much health have I got now? Does it tell me? Where does it tell me? I know I've seen it somewhere. Is it in gear? 275, because I think I started off with 200, possibly. Um, I'll have a look at that in a bit. Um, I don't think I've been through this area, because I don't remember Revenia. any of this stuff. Ooh, a little chest there. Although, I've got that flu flame. Did I just get that? Said that travel broadens the mind. I don't remember getting that a minute ago, so maybe I did come through. Oh, <laughs> I've just forgotten. Possible. Can't see anything that way. It's locked. What's out that door then? Oh, maybe that's like the... Is that the way to Hufflepuff or something? Am I on that side of the building? I'm not. I'm on the academic side, I thought. So I don't know. Okay, let's go find Professor... Ooh. Pillow. <laughs> Professor Weasley, anyway. The and then, uh, being hung here. Why sorry mate, you're gonna have to deal with the stench. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, there might be later, who knows, but at the moment there's nothing I can do about it. Um, oh, I know where I am now. Cool. Yeah, because I want to get the assignments unlocked and see if that also unlocks Hogsmeade. Um, oh yeah, she's not even that far away, I've been in here. This was the room I was waltzing around in earlier. We'll be good today and be focused and try and get as much. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. Here I am. I feel like I need to go back to the charms room as well and see if I missed a scroll well. there. They did, yes. Professor. I, I heard as game, much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Jewel. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near what was it you said? Some ruins? Stop I'd digging, wager lady. there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? No. Nothing more, Professor. I see. I'm not I'm going to, to let you have any more information. Finger. <laughs> you must continue to build upon you might be a Weasley, learned. but you could be a In bad that guy. Regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Lovely. That's what we want. Um, yes. Professor Ronan did mention I like something. You can kind of just that. be a bit belligerent. In fact, can be Professor Ronan polite. will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've yes. arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. And that's when I'll be able You've to use the You've managed your classes again. well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. What ones? I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I wonder where that will be. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Okay. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Any Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I've met them in the class, but it's hardly spending time with them. Um, I'd like to go matters. with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. I've got a quest She'll that keep you is related well to Sebastian. She'll keep you well clear of so... any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? Who? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his familiar. associates, Rookwood. including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. 
The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the three broomsticks. What if I want to go and gorge myself on sweets instead? <laughs> what are you going to do about that then? Um, that's the professor, rather. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts prof professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The reward for completing your first assignment will be the Mending Charm, Repero, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. So are they just going to be available at certain points, or like one after the other? I wonder. He really likes his little bird ah, thing. There you I are. haven't tried my Accio charm on the pages. Was there one out here? I don't think it was, was there? Uh, which one was it? The second one. You I'll have a try new that spell second, to teach me, just... Professor. Indeed I do. There. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently hmm. than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. What else would they See do? them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Repero in no time. I wonder if Repero would work on the chests. Why must I first complete tasks to learn Repero? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience, and these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. Okay. Give I'll me start tasks. on the task right away, Professor. What are they? Collect flying page in the broken statue. Collect flying page and defense against dark parts tower. Uh, oh, well, that's answering that the question, right then, area. I guess. I wonder where the flying page is. It's there. <laughs> Got it. Nice. Oh, they count as they do just count as field pages. Okay. Um, well, before I do that, I want to go in here and get these ones then, because I'm pretty sure that there were two in here. Is the other one up this end or yep. I can get loads of these now. They're everywhere. Gimme. Oops, I missed. I thought it was highlighting it. Where's it got? I've lost it. Thank you. Um okay, dark arts tower. Let's go do that quickly. Oops. <laughs> the door, it's not working. This is a nice way of telling you. A this is how you get those pages. Must be here somewhere. Um, I don't remember seeing one in here, do I? If only a new student were to help me with my sad predicament. It's a Noibiar. What do you need? Are you all right? Don't you know who I am? No. I... Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. It's got to be a reason. Everyone hates you? Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. Sounds fun. Gobstones. Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Do I have to play her and get try and Imelda win? Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Okay. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. So I'm going to have anyway, to get the gobstones back. I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone 
That's a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Perhaps. Do you have any suggestions on how Accio. to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Seems a bit mean. I'll okay. see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back okay. to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. Okay. Is there going to be one nearby, do you think? Oh. Brilliant. Got my book. Um. What's all that on my map? What are these? Are these the gobstones? Okay. Um. Let me just see if I can track that quickly. Six of them. Eh? Just because I want to see if it's obvious what they are when you're. Did I just undrag it? I did. <laughs> I thought it wasn't tracking for some reason. Um, so there's one out there. So there's none directly in this bit, is what it's saying, right? I think. I don't know. We'll go see. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. So there's one out here somewhere. How do I know what to look for? What's the red thing? Is that just where I've been? Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Is that it? Can I? Oh, I I well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. Okay. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. <laughs> uh. So there's another one over that way somewhere. Okay. Let's talk to the professor while we're here. I trust we'll go on a the hunt in a minute. tasks weren't too. I completed the assignments, professor. Marvelous. Piece of cake. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. But Remember, be... your wand is a cold of your magic. That's not good. Uh, I'm gonna go too slow. Oh no! Oh, that wasn't an X! Ah! Good, it's catching up to me. <laughs> Nearly messed that up because I was not paying attention. Whoops. Did it. It's fine. Piece of cake. What can I repair? Mending charm repair can be used to mend broken objects and pieces of the environment. Oh, like that broken statue. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. I was it going to. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate Prepare. and lashed out. Cool. Um. Rebellion. So you don't get... I wonder if that would be like... Is that going to be a challenge fix broken things what's this um okay assignments oh yeah still got to do that that's just the field page thing cool okay um so what's my actual main mission now go to hogsmeade basically yeah um, so there are a couple of Zenobia's things in here. Can I, like, track these? No. Um, just look like they're in here. So I might just see if I can find any of these first. Is there not two in here? It kind of seemed like there might be two. I don't know if I actually went up these stairs before. I don't think I did. Rebellia. Hmm. Hmm. 
that's pretty high up. How am I supposed to get up there? Oh, it's a staircase. Staircase going up. Ugh. I'd better keep an eye on oh, high places around the school for Zenobia's cobblestones. Oh, I know, that's why I'm here. Huh. <laughs> um, that's one of her things there. Yeah. Two. So there is another one, but it's down that way. I'll come back to this place and have a look around. What are you up to now? Looking for gobstones, apparently. That is my goal. Oop, can't see. I like the Accio spell, it's fun. Um, and then I guess the other three are going to be in the other half of the school, from the look of it. So maybe I should fast travel over here. Just have a quick look for these, and then, um, things. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. You don't have to say it every five seconds, Harry. I get it. Oh, is that one there? Oh no, it's just a flash of a... Uh... Oh, no, it's there. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I know, I've only I got to see what all the fuss is about. Rebellion. What is your purpose? Why are you blue? Um... Lumos. Repairo. Not really sure. <laughs> uh... Well, one's up there somewhere. All the way up there. And then one's down below from the look of it. Um, this way? I do like these stairs that suddenly become... Oh, look, there's one of those blowing things there. But this door that I don't understand how they work! How have I knew what the number, the symbols were, number-wise? <laughs> Is it on the roof? Can I get outside on the roof? I'm just gonna keep going up. I don't know if I've been all the way up here. Can't outrun the stairs. It's a shame. I mean, it's not a shame, because, you know, I'd fall off and die. That looks like it's outside. Um, does that mean I can't do it until I can fly? So, oh, no, I can go more up. So much up. Aha. Rebellion. Oh, little chest there. Have that. Ooh, another better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Let's go this guy. Troll armor. The unusual suit of armor was crafted for a troll. That has survived. That it has survived at all is astonishing, since trolls do not ordinarily wear armor and would understandably be prone to smashing it in confusion or anger. <gasps> yeah, that is uh, cool and impressive. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Why are you guys humming? Revelio. I like it, but I don't understand it. I'll have a look out there in a second. What's this? Uh, Hogwarts Her uh, Herbology Award in recognition of the exemplary skill in the field of herbology. Hogwarts bestows a special award upon seventh year Hufflepuff Mirabel Garlic from Mandrix to Mistletoe and Bulb... Bul <laughs> I don't know how you say Tubers and bouncing bulbs. Her work with Flora has exceeded all expectations. Is that the current herbology teacher? Because her name was Garlic. Um... Uh, do I see a gobstone potentially in here somewhere? Is that what the noise is? Oh, there it is. Thank you. Obviously, Hogwarts is It's not even locked. Quidditch gloves. 
Nice. I'd better That's keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I know, I know. I'm Rebellion. gonna do it. That's a. Is that a uh, suit of armor for a house goblin? House elf. <laughs> house goblin. The set of armor for a house elf is rumored to have been made by a cruel wizard who wanted his elf to protect him in battle. Happily, the wizard was too dense to realize that armor could, in fact, be considered clothing. The moment the elf donned it, he disappeared, out, disappeared out of sight, never to be seen again. Ooh, level six. Is that one out here then? There's loads in this one. Uh, trophy room. The room contains the house cup, Quidditch trophies, and dueling trophies, and other rewards given at the school. Students who step out of line can be found polishing the silver here by hand as a reminder of the hard work. Value of hard work. Rebellion. I wonder if there's more. There is. Goblet of Fire casket. Ooh. A goblet of Fire rests within this ancient jewel encrusted chest. The goblet has served as a means of selecting champions for the Triwizard con uh, Tournament since the contest establishment in the late 13th century. Ooh, ooh there's a lot of stuff up there. <laughs> so many places I could go to get distracted. And go there eventually, I will. For sure. Just make sure there's Rebellion. not any other. Pages in here. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Off on another adventure, are we? Yeah. That's the last nice. of Zenobia's gobstones. I should yes, go and see her. Rebellion. I will, but I just want to check if there's any more things. I really like the um, ornaments. The not ornaments. The statues where they. All stompy and stuff. Ah. Centaur armor. Unique set of armor was created as a misguided peace offering to a centaur leader. The gift was spurned and the messenger shot through the leg with an arrow. The armor itself, battered with hoof prints, was later recovered and refurbished. They didn't appreciate that. Hey, that was my 15th one. Nice. Rebellion. Okay, so I think that's all the stuff along here for the moment. Let me get my challenge. Oops, wrong way. I should probably just select it at the top because it's quicker. Um, pages. I got a regalia hat. I don't think I'm going to want to wear that though. 25 for regalia ensemble outfit look. Cool. Alright, question is, should I just fast travel back down? How um, nice how nice to see you too. So I know that there's one guy in here. That wasn't even the girl that was over here. Might go see Cressida. That's gonna be closest. I'll just quickly go and see what Cressida wants. Um was it Cressida? Bloom. To pick that one up. And then... Um, I can go back to... Rebellion. The other girl. Um, this is the library. Oh! I thought there was a page flying around here. Can I get it from down here? Or do I have to go up there? Yeah, a nice amount of XP from those things. Um, where actually is she? Can you actually track her? Just so I know where she is. And then I'll go find... What's her face? Well, out the door. Sprinting is not easy to control in this game. Oh, she's up there. Hi. What do you need? I really have made a mess of things. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. I may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. Because you keep doing spells you see, in there. I'm fond of creating my own charms. Thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. 
But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation. Because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. Oops. <laughs> that sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. <laughs> no. I collect the books and remove the charm myself. Except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened a piece of the library. No, I read about that in a Our note to... Our told Madame Scribner they were my books flying around. So she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. Okay. Why did Armit tell Madame Scribner that they were your books? Oh, to be perfectly honest, I don't think he meant any harm. I think he was impressed, bragging on my behalf. <laughs> Helpful. Amit spends a lot of time gazing at the stars, but he knows a good charm when he sees one. Okay. I suppose I could help if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. Can I read it? If you could collect them and bring Might be them the wrong me, hands. I can remove the charm. Sure, I can probably do that. Flying off the shelves. Well, if there's only five, I might as well do that quickly while I'm here. And then, uh... I'm going to have to use Accio to get to those books. Got it. I need four more to go. Where did that one go that was over this way? Did it go this way or did it go upstairs? Do they fly in a pattern or are they just kind of flying around like crazy things? Oh, it's gone that way. Oops. Two. I also realised when I came through here, I was all like, oh, there's a uh, chest in there. And I didn't realise at the time that there's a secret room behind this fireplace. So I must be able to put out the fire at some point. Um, maybe with a spell or something to get that. Where did that book go that went this way? There it is. Three. This must be oh. Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. What does it say? Today was a good day. That is until Gareth splashed for whatever ridiculous concoction he was creating all over my perfectly stewed uh, lacewing flies. Uh, had to empty my entire cauldron and start all over again. He's such a menace. Think he knows everything. There is snow about potions, always disrupting Professor Sharp's class with his experiments. I'm utterly convinced that if he wasn't Professor Weasley's nephew, he would have been expelled by now. I've heard somebody talking about... Was it Gareth? Actually. Uh, Arborist sm Smokies? I don't know what that is. Arborist Smokies, again for dinner. I'm becoming more partial to them now, although I still prefer meat pie. I wonder if, if or when we'll meet Gareth because he seems to keep getting mentioned because he's a Weasley. <laughs> um, right, I know there's a book over this way because I saw it. Thank you. So it's probably one on the other side. Let's just double check down this way first. There wasn't another one up here? Oh, no, there is. Missed. <laughs> Get up, babe. Where's it gone? There it is. Coming my way. That's the last book. Now to okay. take them back to Cressida. Let's just take them back to her and then I'll go see the other girl again. And then we'll go and see about going to Hogsmeade. And get some stuff. Here you go, my dear. I have books for you. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. <laughs> That's tempting. I'm not going to. Here you are. She well, might give me something without driving her. I certainly won't be practicing any charms in the library again anytime soon. Now, Probably a to good work idea. out where I went wrong. Perhaps I should start brushing up on my Latin. Yes. Thank goodness. That would be a good idea. Well, a trustworthy. Certainly. 
and they wouldn't want anyone to see you. Ooh. Nice. All that XP. Oh no. Thank you. Gotta go and see. Whoa, it's all foggy. It's weird. Um, I wonder if I can pick up any more assignments at the moment. How do I know? Probably not. I imagine it will become obvious, won't it? As I'm doing things. Um, I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. I have. Here you go. Hello, Zenobia. I found all of your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However, did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? I suppose. Of course. They are yours after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate I really all like that my you future victories to you. And just like, nah. Speaking of which, <laughs> now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Idea. Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. <laughs> Very well, off I go. Wish me I luck. probably shouldn't have encouraged her with that one, should I? I'm gonna end up chasing down her gobstones again. Is that another handle? And I got a challenge complete. Yeah. Right. Um, let me just go to my challenges quickly. 4%. Look at us go. What did I get? Glasses again. Leprechaun gloves. Ooh. Cool. Right. To the main story. Um, I should probably track my quest really, shouldn't I? Because I'm not really sure where I'm going. This way. Take me to my destiny. <laughs> or something. Relief to finally have oh. an answer as to why that portrait. I don't think I even went down these stairs before. What's over here? Oh, I need uh, someone to give me a spell which will uh, give me luck stuff. Just want to see if there's anything out here, because it doesn't look like it's a very big area, which could be misleading, because it actually is. <laughs> um. This is really cool. I don't know what it is. Greenhouse tree. Situated in the centre of Hogwarts greenhouse, the giant tree has a system of roots deep reaching and convoluted as the school's dungeons. Ooh, I wonder if I could go to the dungeons. Probably shouldn't sound so intrigued about that idea. But I do find the idea interesting. Oh, it's Um. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't the stairs. <laughs> Never mind. The greenhouse is really cool. Uh, can I go in the greenhouse? Probably. Revelio. Maybe. Oh! <sighs> really? Why am I struggling with stairs so much? <laughs> oh dear. Ooh, look. Cool, like, uh, water tank thing. <laughs> Do I need to repair okay. you? No. Oh, maybe I can like lift you up. Leviosa. Nope. Don't know. <laughs> it's not a thing I can do at the moment, apparently. Wait, wait, wait. Is this not going to have a. Uh... Revelio. Nothing? Okay. Well, I know there's a chest down here. I just can't get into them yet. So I guess I can count that as a happy exploration of the uh, greenhouse for now. Probably be back here for herbology at some point. So I won't get too distracted. Maybe. Revenia. Is it through here I'm supposed to be going? Yes. Okay. And then this way. <laughs> oh! Fairy hat. 
that's cool. All sorts of secrets in this place. Where on earth am I going? <laughs> I do like the armor. I really do. I'm just gonna do this going down here in case there's anything to see. Doing this. I don't think I've been here, have I? Before? Doesn't look familiar. Oh. Wooden cat. The statue bears a likeness of Peng of Pangar Don. Fearless feline, mouse hunter, and devoted study companion. <laughs> My little brother sent me letter chock full of questions about Hogwarts. Merlin help us when he starts here next year. Oh, it's you. It's watching me. <laughs> I can hear the thing grinding. I was like, what's that noise? That's from the ghosts. Oh, I see you. Make a ghost. I would not have spotted that, probably. Immediately. That's a good thing. Three sister bells. Uh, they're said to be a tribute to three similarly named beautiful steep ridges that the ma that rise majestically over a glen in Argyllshire. It was rumoured that one can hear them ring in the glen way across the highlands. When they are rung in the castle, locals have been baffled by... Oh, when they ring the castle. Uh, locals have been baffled by the mysterious ringing for years. Cool. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. You don't have to bring it up all the time, love. I know she's there. Can I go up here? No. Pavelio. What's in there then, we wonder? So where does Hello. this side go? Looking for me? No, I'm not, actually. I'm looking for <laughs> other things. You just happen to be here. Oh. Why does that look like somebody's scorched? Allegedly the location of the first known instance of an arguably successful casting of Bombardier. Date unknown, cast unidentifiable. They had a good time. I see a mirror, uh, one of the moth mirror things. I don't know how to get there though, because it doesn't look like it's this way. Rebellion. Why am I hearing frogs? Is that what that chest made the noise of? Do I need to like sneak up on these things or something? I feel like I do because they kind of like narrow their eyes and stuff when I come over. So I've possibly got to sneak up on them or something. Why do I hear? Pavelio. Strange things. Oh. Why? I don't know why it sounds like frogs. <laughs> we'll figure that bit out later. I'm sure there's something there. I'll just have a quick peek out here and see what's this way. I don't know if I've been out here or not. Oh, there's the mirror. Or oh, that might be a different one, actually. Lumos. A uh, lion statue and a big window. It's not something I can say I've seen, but it's probably somewhere nearby. The windows look about Rebellion. right. Uh, I won't go too far. I'll just have a quick peek. Ooh, what's this place? What did it say it was? I missed it at the bottom. I got too distracted. It's in like a music -y room. Um. Frog choir. Here perched the slimy yet symphon symphonic frogs that comprise the Hogwarts frog choir. 
These magical amphibians can sing in six part harmony and hold the pitch better than most humans. <laughs> How cute. Um, I will go to meet what's her face in a minute. Rebellion. I promise. That locked. It looks locked. What's up here? What's that? A bell? Am I wanting to do that for a reason? Revelio. Ooh. I could Leviosa it into a spot. But which spot does it want to go into? Um Which one was Leviosa? Leviosa. Oh I can't move it, I can only hover it. Okay. So that might be a thing later to put it back. But currently, I do not have the ability. Or I don't think I do. Anyway. Ooh. Look at the size of this chest. Ooh, a mask. I'm going to have a look at that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll fast travel back down where I need to be in a minute, so I won't run all the way. Um Oh, look how spooky I'd be. You don't want to run into me in the middle of the night. <laughs> they poop my pants, that's for sure. Revenue. Oh, frog. Where will that take me? Let me just have a look out here first before we go down, because there's no fast travel thing up here that I'm aware of. Anyway. And last time I got one of these, it ate me. Now where am I? Another chest. Arrow pink swirl. Revelio. And globes. Cool. Where am I? <laughs> Does it tell me? I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, fast travel back down here somewhere. Oops, um, I didn't mean to do that. Exit. Let's fast travel here and then uh, we can explore later. I've had a good run around. I need to get on with the mission. Go to Hogsmead, because then I guess it will be unlocked. Oh, there's a thing there, look. Rebellion. Broken broom belonged to Celine Wart Navy. And is rumored to be all that remains after she insisted on demonstrating her experimental lunar apparition charm to thir fellow third years. No one knows if she ex succeeded. Did she, did she try to go to the moon? Is that what they're saying? What is that meant to be? Flattened armor. Oh, it's got like a thing in its head. Uh, it belonged to Sir Skag Skaggle Thought. The headless who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. I guess he did not win. <laughs> Natty, oh, I forgot I had the mask I on. <laughs> waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. Yes. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. Might not see much I've through this mask. To it. Good. Shall we set off? <laughs> I intend to give you a first-rate <laughs> Hogsmeade experience. The way that she looks so chipper whilst wearing that, I think it's just a combination that I love. <laughs> she looks so sinister and sounds so innocent. Uh. Especially with the robes. Look, there's the Quidditch place. Can we go that way? Probably not. But we're outside. So that's exciting. Oh, I can wander around. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Yeah? Really? Yes, 
I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. Revelia. Will you follow me if I'm wandering around? The, <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's hour was perfect. Well, yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. That's what I was testing. Okay, we'll go, we'll go. How to rein in a distractible Ari. Threaten her with a countdown. An ominous red screen. <laughs> Nothing about the fountain? Okay. Right, you've got me hostage. Let's go to Hogsweed. <laughs> Like, you will not get distracted during your mission. You will leave. Rebellion. Wild boar with wings. Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh oh. air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. <laughs> I believe you. So. Though I suppose you would not really call this it is elective pretty. when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. You didn't have a choice? Seems a bit mean. What's that? Oh, it's a floating water can. Oh, I thought I just <laughs> I did Aki or something accidentally. Then I was like, whoops. It wasn't me. It's just Hogsmeade going on to its beautiful uh, this time path of year. to do something else. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not yeah. much for the cold, Quite are you? chilly. Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken Rebellion. some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. No. It is probably quite different in Uganda. It was where her school was, wasn't it? So. Oh, wait, over here. Oh, you want to get distracted. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But they're but used for potions, them, right? You can also use them in potion making. What is that noise? <laughs> the daffodils are like trumpets. Rebellion. That's really funny. What was it I needed for that? Uh, ooh, look how far we are. So I can actually go out all of here. That's really cool. I don't know what that is. That's Hogsmeade. No. Up a Hogsfield. So that's Aaron shit. Wow, look at all the places I could. Oh, look, there's even more down here. Lower Hogsfield. There's, obviously, there's a flu thing here, so I can obviously go all the way over there, or I will at some point. I can go over here. This is, is that dragon actually flying around? <laughs> I'm not sure I'm happy about that. That's really cool. I didn't realise the world was going to be that big. And presumably I can potentially run around all of it. <gasps> I'm going to get so distracted. <laughs> it's going to be the best. Um, was it in here that I had things? So now I've got that. Yeah, this. So yeah, I did need lace wing flies. I also need a flux weed stem. It was one bottle. So can I can actually make this because it doesn't tell me that I can. I don't even know how many of them I've got at the moment. Five. I wonder how many potions you can carry. What are those? I want to go and explore, but I can't because she'll tell me off. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. Ah. I wonder if something startled them. Hopefully I heard not that dragon. That hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance Hoop and Sugarfoot. <laughs> Those are excellent hippogriff names. Um, That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Mm. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. It's full of I think big spiders and centaurs and all alluring. sorts of things. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Is this ruin? Is there anything in that ruin? I like that there's just people I would walking spend around. all of my time exploring if I could. Look at these mushrooms. I confess, They're jumping. I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area. Leaping since you're relatively stories. new here. She said that? <laughs> she knows more about me than I had thought. I would Don't say shout that. at me. I'm getting well, mushrooms. Well, I certainly learn a great deal in class. Oh. Much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Look how cool they look. 
I should have one of these as a mount because of the deluxe edition. That's so cool. This is awesome. Um, don't shout at me. I'm just looking for resources. I think there might be something else here. Repairing. Just checking. Oh. There's something over there. But I also just saw this. School robe. Can I... Oh, uh, I need to probably move this one out of the way. Can I not get that one? Hmm. But there's like a chest behind there and I want it. Let me jump over it. It's not that big. Uh, ah <laughs> Didn't actually think I'd be able to do that. Sleek jeweling gloves. What's that? Oh, a little thing there I can search also. It's cool. So it's just just, just going to be like treasure everywhere. Not that I'm sure I want to change my outfit because I quite like it to be honest. Some more leaping mushrooms, toadstools. I'm just going to harvest everything I find because I assume that I'm going to need it at some point. What's up there? I want to go exploring. I hate that I'm stuck with somebody that won't let me wander off properly. <sighs> How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. Aww. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? Hogsmeade isn't as interesting to me right at this that. moment as but compared to all this stuff. Too. <laughs> and getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. That Hopefully so? it will be you too. Cat. <laughs> Haven't stroked a cat yet. Oh, Have to do so. Out. Has to be done. Owls must be incredibly I see some toadstools. Sorry, I missed some down there as well, but I'm sure there'll be. What is the what is the symbol? Oh, what is it though? There's all creatures in there. Does it tell me on the map what that symbol means? Uh, oh, excuse me. <laughs> Where am I? Ah. Okay, I'm not quite used to how the map works. You? Yeah, but what about the thing that was that? A puff scheme den. A den inhabited by puff schemes. Okay, I'm not allowed to go to it yet, apparently, but it is there. Is this not where we're going? Am I going the wrong way? Why are you back here? What do you do? Okay, I'm not sure why he's... Oh, because I went over the edge, Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Is he going to tell me about the puff schemes? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Why? Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What, what did, did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys... Dougly and Airy and mm, Oh, that's what the, they mentioned Demigod statues. Oh, yeah, she'll be at the castle where right? safe. Good luck to both of you. Thanks. What's a demigod? I don't know what a demigod oh, is. Mr. Moon. A demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. What are these? Nearly there. There is much to see outside of the castle. It's not just hugs me. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Moonstone. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such. It might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. As long as we don't see Ranrock and he doesn't know where I am, we'll be fine. But considering I look like a kid, he's probably gonna... Ooh, look. So many signs for things I want to go and explore. What's the Demiguy's statue, though? Because that's what the thingy. Ooh, I see you. Revelio. Hogsmeade! 
The only all wizarding village in Britain. Hogsmeade has been a favourite haunt of Hogwarts students third years and up for centuries. Nice. I want to go. Oh, explore. <laughs> ah, oh, wait. Ah. Let's see if I was right about the challenge thing. Look at all this stuff. Can I just like fast travel back? 32 out of 150. There's 55 here. Only five collection chests though. But nine Gurmy Guy statues, whatever they are. How many statues were in this one? Ten. Um, right, challenges. Oh, I've got my outpost thing unlocked now. I have no outpost. <laughs> Nobody wrote to me. I don't even know if I have a family or what, wherever I come from. Yep. So I think this was right. What I was thinking earlier, well, that would be Hogsmeade then. And that will be the Highlands, wherever that is. Sonko's glasses. Okay. I'll have a look at that stuff later. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. Well, that's locked, the though, not in there. is the place for butter beer. Oh. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Um, I don't even know what I need. I've forgotten. We can't walk any faster than this at the moment. This is this is what we've got. So. uh... Is Hogsmeade going to be really big? Oh, I guess. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, mm -hmm. spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course! You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander. And I, I am keen about the to see what again. you do with a wand of your own. <laughs> you should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Okay. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Cool. So I do just get to run around Enjoy a bit. yourself. I will see you soon. Um, it's brimming with different sites, shops, and other points of interest that you can navigate using your field guide map. Okay. Oh, it's actually giving me a close up thing now. Hogsmeade map shows shops and points of interest. You can track any of these by highlighting an icon and pressing X. Press circle to exit, exit the map. So, what have we got? That's Ollivander's. Sporting needs. Sell so brooms. Tomes and scrolls. So that's where I need to get my spell stuff. That's the potion shop. That's the hog's head. Wait, is that the... Yeah, that's the one that is the disreputable one. Joke shop. That's the broomsticks. Clothing shop. Glad rags. Brood and Peck, Beast Supply Shop, uh, Square, Steeply and Sons, Tea Shop, and Honey Dukes. That's a sweet shop, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I wonder where, because I've got a bonus mission. Um, abandoned Old Building in Hogsmeade. I don't know what it was. It was something like haunted or something? I don't remember. Um, what was this one? Maybe we'll start with this one because it's nearby. Oh, it's that one I walked right past. We might as well go in here first. An inquiring mind wants to know. Ravenia. Any. Ooh. Somebody's got secret treasures. Oops. You. Um, kind of looks like you'd go up there. Rebellion. There's a chest up there. How does one get up there? Can I climb your bookshelf? No. <laughs> Didn't think so for some reason. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell crafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. 
You have I a take it beard. you've had a conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. No, ah, I was going to say it. I think I have actually. Soon enough, it is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Something. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course. And you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. Is she hard to impress like something to aspire to, Mr. Brown? I look forward to that day. And I too seeing it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor oh. Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Yes. Good. Nothing I have no like idea being what able I to need. grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Okay. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Uh. Potions, so it's free. Unlocks the ability to conjure a potting table with a small pot. Use its pots to grow all sorts of these magical plants. If you're so what interested, else do you have? Wow, feel that's free to expensive. take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Beast toy box. I like that I can apparently have toys and things for my animals. I haven't even got any yet, but I can. <laughs> Chopping station. Periodic producer the plants. I've heard. Dung composter. Potting table. Too large, so that's like an upgrade, basically. And that's selling stuff. Okay, thank you very much. I have got that stuff. I really want to explore your shop, but I can't. Is this open? It's not somewhere I need to go, but I just want to have a look. Oh, it's a chest there. Is it one I can actually open? It is! I've got a blazer uniform. No floating pages in this place, but I did get a chest, so can't complain, I suppose. I assume I can't go, no, doesn't go. I was gonna say, I assume I can't go up that um, thing. Does this open? Ooh. Oh, it's just this thing. Oh, oh, nice. Excuse me, I'm gonna go and steal from you. <laughs> Why? Because I gotta. <laughs> Have option to raid your chests, we'll raid your chests. Get a little bit of money? Why not? Rebellion. Anything else up here? I don't think so. I really want to go next door that way, but I think that was locked, wasn't it? Oh, dang it. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, it's there. Uh, don't think that opens into ending. Another wiggle mail potion. Revelio. That's another page. There's loads of pages. Can't hop over that little fence, really. <laughs> it's a tiny fence. You should be able to do that. Oh, another one of those, look. See how suspicious it was of me? Lumos. Ah. Uh, is that wooden decking or like a little deck? As in like near water. Is there a lake nearby? I really can't hop over that. Um, okay, I'll keep an eye out for something like that. I'm not really sure if that's going to be really nearby or... I don't know why I've left my thing on. Rebellion. So many locks and things. I can't open any of them. Ah, around here? There's a chest. There it is, it's you. Lumos. Come here, my little moth. Rebellion. 
Hogshead Dock. The docks outside the Hogshead um, offer in offers a pleasant place to sit and relax if one can do so whilst only a throw stone throw will throw away from whatever nefarious goings on occur in the notoriously shady inn. I just lost my little moth. Come back here, please. <laughs> I know I got slightly distracted, but it was only for a second. Um, figure out where I was back around here. Uh, <laughs> where I went through. Here, yeah, there it was. <laughs> You just wait, Chest. I'll figure you out. Some point. I'll figure you out at some point. Lovely. Um. Rebellion. Um. Right. Let's go to another shop, shall we? Oh, she actually hopped over that one. Good job. Cool. Let me search. Get a little bit of gold. Can we go this way? What's up with him? Liquidation over education on, over man. politics. You don't, I Think no of the students. Black. Oh, he doesn't like <laughs> Professor Black. <laughs> I don't think he's a bad guy. He's just, you know, really <laughs> unsociable. Uh, right, where are we? I need my map. I don't know where I'm going. I kind of want to go check out the hog's head. Is that bad? It's probably bad. I might do it anyway. <laughs> I'll go in there. Which one is the hog's head? This one. Look at the dribbly, like, hog thing. Did I just drink alcohol? I don't think I'm old enough. Probably not a good idea. Have some peanuts. Rebellion. Um, the thing there, I assume he's not going to let me walk behind the bar, but I'm going to try it anyway. Ooh. Mounted Hogshead uh, rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and slightly interesting clientele of the hog's head. He did let me in. Nice. Bit of a goal. Just rob from him. I'm sure he won't hold that against me. Have some more peanuts. <laughs> What's in this? Oh. I'm <laughs> sure I did that. Okay. I think there's something else there. Well, that was a bit of anticlimactic, wasn't it? Thought it would be cooler than that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Is this one openable? No. Apparently not. There's loads of rats around. Why are there so many rats around? Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Hi. Can I have this chest? A ceramic mask. Rebellion. Mm. Got anything else in here that I can yoink? Is that in here or out there? Looks like it's outside. Um, did you not have a page? Should say. J. Pippin's Potions. Established in 1753 as the apothecary of Hogsmeade, where proprietor Parry Pippin, that's really awkward to say, sells a wide variety of potions and their ingredients. What do you got for me, Pippin? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though Who's that? I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. You haven't it's either. My first time <laughs> it's still it, covered up. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. Sure, the student she Can sent me Can you give me a Wicked World one? Because I think that's I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Yes. Is it not the most fascinating art, potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. 
Are potions really that versatile? They may not There's be been a, a distinct showy lack spell work, of but Scottish, make no mistake, Irish, they are and Welsh just as powerful. accents. They can heal, destroy, protect. I You'll discover realize. all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? Sounds but for now, good. Let's get you those recipes, shall we? I don't want to spend any of my money what if I can, can I help it at the moment today? because I don't know what I'm going to need it for. Um, so what have we got? Yeah, we're going to have a recipe. And the recipe for a potion that causes a rocky film to develop on the consumer's skin. Oh, nice. No, it's like a protection. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Focus. Or come back another time if you're in a rush cooldowns. today. My spells have cooldowns. Uh, powerful potion, damage potion. Ooh, makes you practically invisible. I kind of want to buy that. Maxima potion increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. I kind of want to buy this and test it on those chests. I've got enough money. Can do it. So what have we got? Ingredients wise, I've got loads of those. Stench of the dead. Lovely. Troll bogeys. Nice. Ooh, I've got a superb hat. Oh, they actually do have an impact on your stuff. <laughs> I thought they were just a fashionable thing. I hadn't been looking at that. Ah, oh, look at my little hat. I'm going to keep that on. doesn't really go with my outfit at all right now. But it improves my defense. So, you know. So what does this do? 16 defense. Oh, that's a little bit better. Only by two, though. If I could apply this appearance to this mask, I'd wear it. But I preferred this appearance. <laughs> so I'm going to keep that on. <laughs> because why not? Um, oh, it just doesn't look as good, you know? Can you change the appearance of them? And keep stuff on. Does that mean? Oh, okay. So I could do that potentially with if I put that on, but change the appearance to look like this one. Oh, look, I've got a dark arts one. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> I also will change this because uh, I prefer the appearance of this hat. I'm not gonna lie, it looks better with my outfit. That makes me happier to change stuff now that I know that I can just apply the appearance of other things. You could do that in Horizon too, I like that. Um, no trait applied. So it puts my defense up. And again, I'm gonna just. Well, it does actually look. Alright, that outfit, but I still prefer the other one. Um, this is my look for now. Okay, so. How are you on time? Uh, we're getting close to the end for this bit, so let's go to Magic Neep and we'll save Ollivanders for last. Which one's Magic Neep? Um, magic is that one. I might go check out the uh, thing that's. Although I don't have any money, <laughs> I was gonna say the thing that sells me. I think appearance stuff from tipping system things. Nice. Okay, some money. Well, hello there. Hi. Hi. Anything about your place? Magic Neep Cart belongs to Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and engaging with customers outside the shop. Ooh, level nine. It'd be nice Pardon if they gave me sir. money for that. I'm here for the seeds <laughs> Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Yep. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. 
You must be positively reeling from it all. There's a lot Not to take in, I guess. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Yeah. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy He's Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now. So is he going to give me seeds? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Yes. I could Let do me guess. Dittany. You're after something fresh. Not just Dittany seeds. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients so to pick your seed, interest out, Wager. Right. Room of requirement items. Spoilers. Okay, so he actually sells some of the stuff as well. It's quite expensive if you're only getting one for that. Thank you. Um, right, so we just need to go to Ollivander's. I kind of want to look around to see if I can get some more money. Ooh, is that a chest down there? Under the bridge. Hopefully it's not one of the ones I can't open. Oh, it is. Bloody things. Um, so I've been down there. I don't want to rely on... Oh. <laughs> nice. I wonder if that's a thing I should be keeping an eye out for. Tools and stuff, which are... Revelio. That's Pippin's potion thing. Um, do stuff like that. What's this? I like that there's just these random things around to interact with. Ollivanders, don't get distracted. Go straight there. Uh, what's in your chest? Ooh, scarf. I haven't got a scarf on at the moment, so um, I'll have that. I wonder when I'll start having to fight things. Ooh, it's a, le a legendary one. Very nice. Doesn't go with my outfit, but it'll do. <laughs> um, Mr. Ollivander. Oh, that's cool. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah. Mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for. For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivander's, I'm sure. Yes. Finest one-makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? That would be fabulous. Uh, no, no. I wonder if I'll get to uh, go you. to... Um, Ah, pub. yes. Have some butter beer. Yes. Mm. Although I might have already had some. Oh, <laughs> God. Ten and a half inches? Hmm. You might do. Here. Give this one a try. What gloves am I wearing? Well, at the go moment? ahead. Swish. Nope. Hmm. Not that one. How odd. Uh, once more, come on. Really swish it. Oh dear. <laughs> Definitely not that one. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? No. I'd say not. <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps. Yes. Why are they all in green a boxes? Rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. I'm not convinced. Oh, 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 my. oh goodness. Oh. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Yeah, I am not its uh, owner. 
This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. Third time's the charm? How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Another green box. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. What's this one? A classic grey. It's hornbeam, dragon heartstring, stiff. <laughs> Twelve and a quarter inches. Uh, oh, I actually get to choose. Curious indeed. <gasps> this is cool. Uh, I quite liked this one. How intriguing. Look, different variations. Ooh. Wood type. Uh, oops. Curious indeed. How do you know? Do they make a difference in the look? They get really big. <laughs> I don't know if like this makes How any difference intriguing. at all. How uh, so serves as a core for one known for producing powerful magic, consisting magic, or okay, for producing a great range of magic. Mm. Maybe this one? Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare, and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Um... I don't know if it makes any difference. What do you think? We'll go with that. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> I like that they make you Another design long, it. Though. Another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Cool. I just missed some of that, unfortunately, because, um... Well, that's everything. Better go and find Natty. <laughs> I had someone deliver a parcel, and apparently you can't pause in cutscenes, which is a bit of a oversight i could have skipped it but i missed it so i'll have to just catch up with that um <laughs> when i open the video to edit it i'm sure it was very important let's go quickly see natty and then we'll probably be done for the day oh my battery's running over my control also so we'll definitely be done for the day in a minute um she's potentially up here somewhere <laughs> yeah Ooh. some money where are we meeting her I should say there's a square or something. Oh, can you teach me how to unlock things? That would be really great, Natty. Oh. Hello. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. Yeah, that's quite a lot of stuff. <laughs> we should walk around a bit. Oh, more. I didn't get to Honeydukes. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. We're about to get in a fight of some sort, aren't we? What the heck? Is that a troll? I've got two toes. Um, I don't exactly agree with Stinger. Draw it away from the building! Away from the building! He had glowy red eyes, much like. Oh, there's another one. Uh, oh, don't 
dodge. Nice. Okay. Can I Leviosa it? <laughs> nope. Okay, so when it's got red, it's dodge. Oh, he's dropping. Whoa, you don't go too close. Ah, oh, what? What was that? I was trying to beat him at his own game. I like it. Do more. Oh, I missed. Ah, my bad. Thanks. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so I can just R1 like everything. Look, he's faltering. Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way. Okay, that wasn't too bad. L1 and R1 to invoke ancient magic. Dude, I just like destroyed that thing. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. Oh, the bad guy. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? Yeah. We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, Perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, sure. officer. Singer. Officer Singer. So she's an aura. And thank you. Again. You're welcome. Um. What am I putting back? Do I need to like, repair, repair things? Oh, hello there. Uh, Lucky they didn't do me. I will see what he wants. That guy. Okay, you do that. I will repair some of this stuff yeah. that I flung around. Did that not count as the stuff needing repairing? There's so much to repair. Seven things. Oh. One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. That's got a thing though for me. <laughs> the Hengist of Woodcroft. The statue of Hufflepuff Hengist is of Woodcroft, uh, Woodcroft believed to be the founder of the village of Hogsmeade after having Driven from his home, being driven from his home by muggle prosecutors. Persecutors. Accio. Oops, wrong one. Repair it. Um. Oh. Revelia. Was the cat mad? What else do I need to fix? There's two more things. That over there. Repair it. What's that? Oh, is that a big sack of search? Money. Um, that over there, I guess. It's a big thing to repair. Excuse me, cat. Repair it. Repair it is a very handy spell. Oh, look. Didn't I do this one already? Not sure. Just in case. It's done now. Right, what do you want, Mr. Man, maybe this is why I couldn't speak to this guy. Oh, oh, there's one outside his shop. Revelia. Gladrag's Wizardware. Abandoned in nine, uh, 1750 with locations of Paris, London, and Hogsmeade, Gladrag's offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate, associate Otto Dibble uh, happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of a customer with less fashion sense than most. That's probably me, to be fair. <laughs> we were just talking about you. Wait, what were you talking about me for? Can I actually talk to you now? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus yes, Hill. This is why they wouldn't Claudia let you in. Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an order of Merlin. <laughs> But I can offer you something much more. You're gonna useful. give me a swanky outfit. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. 
And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous Only of they're you. Cool, though. It's I like the ones in the window do. behind me. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Sure. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. It's not as good as my stuff. What does it look like? Yeah. It's not even good. <laughs> oh, he's got loads of stuff though. Um, yeah, I know how to do it. You're gonna make me do it. I don't wanna equip it. It's bad. I've got better stuff. I've already learned this. Um, yeah. The stats are at the top. Select the cloaks and robes. You're actually gonna make me equip. Look, this one. You're gonna make me. I don't want to equip that one. It sucks. <laughs> Emerald Highland attire. I can't really see because of my cloak, my robe thing. Um, you don't have any interesting ones that I would want anyway. So, thanks, but no thanks. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butter beer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? So you don't want to go to the whole head? Wonderful. Just down this way then. Okay, I want to change my outfit back though I because even more this is worse. The items. Should you be inclined? So you're most welcome to peruse my shop at the your blue room. bar now. Is that the ancient magic thing? I just got to change my gear back because you interfered. What else have I got? Ooh, I like that one. It's all stabby. Um, I haven't got any of the other stuff yet, so that will do for now. Let's go to the three broomsticks, and then that will be us for now. I can't go Assuming it is this. not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Good That's one fair. to know. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm suspicious of anyone someone tells me they're a good person it's like yeah are they really though or are they gonna betray me in the end who's that why are we focused on him why would we care about somebody going down there oh Ran rocks here you said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade that all you needed was a distraction I gave you a distraction I just watched a student take down your distraction rock with, rock with. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Hello. Let's go. Yeah, let's rather go back to Hogwarts than uh. Did they see us? Worry about a butter beer right so. now. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Okay, we'll go and have a bit. <laughs> Seems like a good plan. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Shut the door, loves. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. How generous. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. It's first time for everything. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, Those ones. How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. 
Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. That's Come Theophilus, now. is it? Okay. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. I just my took down a troll. Are you sure you want to try that? Butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I mean, do I you honestly think that my walking into the pub busy. and snatching one of the students from school is going to work? I think you all had enough with his reputation. Unlikely. Come, the ominous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. That's what you think. <laughs> Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? The same thing I'm going to continue to not to tell you. Everything. It is perhaps best I do that later. Yeah, I'm not telling you a single thing right now. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Uh, talk to her outside the thing. Okay. Are these buns? Just Uh, anything else? A rebellion. <sighs> ah. I say there should be like a page or something. Right. right. Three broomsticks, currently run by Serona Ryan and allegedly as old as Hogsmeade itself, the three broomsticks is the long standing gathering spot for villagers and Hogwarts students who want to enjoy a butterbeer or a fire whiskey. Didn't quite get to the level nine, but I'm close. I'm just going to eat everything and drink everything and drink. Go, go, go. <laughs> I assume it's not possible to get drunk because butterbeer is not actually beer, is it? It's whatever the equivalent is. I wonder if there's anything upstairs. Cool. Okay, let's just quickly talk to her. I want to see if I can finish this mission before we end this video, even though it's a bit long now. But with the disaster of the last one, we can uh, <laughs> go a little bit longer for this. I am certainly glad Serona was there, and that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Yeah. Professor good plan. Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. Can we just fast travel? Must return to the common room for the night. Okay. So, yeah. Select the Hogwarts map button. Um, oh, I actually have to select it, do I? Fast travel to your common room. Gonna guess it's in the bouncing flag one. Travel. Right. So does that mean every time I go to Hogsmeade there's gonna be trouble from that rock Rookwood guy? I don't know why I keep calling him Rockwood. Rookwood. Probably. Probably is that kind of means. <gasps> A barn owl! You're not going to make hooting noises, are you? Barn owls don't do that. They screech and they make creepy ghosty noises, but they do not hoot. Don't do it. I'm telling you. <laughs> um, oh, I have some mail. Okay. Oh, Professor Fig. Come see me. I've discovered something about the locket we found at Gringotts. So I assume that the thing that had the memories in is what the lock is, because otherwise I have no idea what he's talking about. Um, right, well, on that note, I think I'm going to leave this episode here, because we've now um, come back to the room, and... Oh, that's just... You can access the owl. Um, yeah, we have done things. Did I do anything else? No. Well, I completed that main quest. So our next thing is to go and see the Professor Fig. Which is going to be all the way over there. Oh, there's another side quest in this place, apparently. Uh, what is it? Cash in the castle. Saw Arthur Plumley studying two treasure maps he had found. Ooh. Yeah, always find out about treasure. Is there a second one? Oh, there is. What's this one? D 
to Dalian Keys. Nelly Augsburg is in the Transfiguration Courtyard and seems elated about something. Interesting. And then this one's just the other one, isn't it? Still. Cross ones. Cool. Okay. Well, I think that was a pretty successful episode. We managed to get through the Hogsmeade stuff. We got some things. What are we going to get after this mission? Not sure yet. Um, I need to speak to him about the troll attack. Cool. Yeah. So I'm going to leave this here and on the next one I guess we will go find out more information about the locket and maybe go do some more of the side quests around um, and explore more because there's just so much to explore. It's exciting but I'm enjoying this so far. I'm intrigued about all the different little abilities that Ari's picking up with now being able to fling things which is not related to Accio and the ancient magic which like whomped that thing out of existence. Um, so yeah, that would be interesting to see if we get some more information about what that is and what Professor Fig thinks about that. But either way, we're done for now. So I'll see you next time.